Today, we're going to be talking about a starter ship known as the Drake Cutlass Black. There are other variants of this, but we're going to be talking about this one in specific. And if you haven't joined Star Citizen yet, then use this referral code on the screen to get extra UEC in game to help you on your journey. So let's get into this. Now, the Cutlass Black is arguably one of the best starter ships, and not everyone will agree with that, and that's completely fine. Everyone has their own opinion, everyone likes their own vessels, but I like the Drake Cutlass, and a lot of people in the comments will tell Tell you this everyone down in the comments let people know this is a good ship join the discord become a channel member all that good stuff so we're going to be talking about this ship in specific because when you talk about starter ships I directly go to the Cutlass Black. I do, however, I don't mind the Freelancer, but the Drake Cutlass is just a nice, small, nimble ship, and it does the job really, really well. If you haven't seen it, if you don't know if you'd put this amount of money into the game, it does cost you $100, real dollars. Um, but other than that, it's completely worth it. Like, if you don't have a ship and you're looking to get one, there are other alternatives, but if you are looking to put a little bit more into Star Citizen, this is perfect. It has a crew of 1 to 3. You have a cargo capacity of 46 SCU and 46,000 SCU, which is like just stowage space with smaller stuff. So it's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, the length of it is 36 meters. It has a 26 meter beam and a 14 meter height. I don't think that stuff's really important to you, but what you want to know is that this is a medium freighter and a medium fighter. So it has the best of both worlds, but another thing is that if you want to go mining and you don't have any, any other ships to go fly you out to a certain mining site or just sort of prospect around, this can hold a rock. Yes, that is one of the best parts about this is that you can actually get a small vehicle on the inside. It also can take a mule on board, which is also great. Again, that means you can then take these off to derelict sites and, and go do some looting out there, which is fantastic. So if you're new to Star Citizen and you've gotten like your basic pledge ship, I would definitely think about cross um, chassis upgrading one of them, which is known as a CCU to a Cutlass Black. If you haven't thought about it definitely go look at some more videos about this ship because it's just undoubtedly one of the best starter ships and it is a little bit higher in price but it, at the end of the day it is definitely worth it it does dogfight really well i mean in this new update it's probably not as good as what it used to be but it does hold really well till its own like it used to but this new update has played with some of the mechanics a little bit which kind of sucks but again it's sort of balancing the game out a little bit the mechanics are always going to be changing but this has always been a fantastic ship a favorite ship a lot of people love this ship i have a lot of ships i actually just got one of these from referrals and i actually still fly it around because it's just so enjoyable and so nostalgic it takes you back to when you first started you can run box missions in it you can enjoy it it's small enough to be able to fly around easily and it's big enough to actually be able to do what you want with and do some a little bit of cargo running with it so Think about on each end of the spectrum what you want to do with the ship and whether or not it's worth it. But at the end of the day, this has the best of both worlds. And that's why people really do go for this ship because it does a little bit of both. They can just sit there. If they want to do a little bit of cargo running or they want to do a bit of mining, they can use this ship. If they want to go off and do a little bit of combat, again, they can use this ship. It's just the best of both worlds where a lot of the other starter ships will just sort of be based around one specific role of gameplay where this ship it will be based on different multiple roles and if you have seen my content quite often you'll know that I like ships that have many many different roles intended for them even if they have unintended roles this ship has got some of the best functionality for a small ship of its size in that class and Drake just make really great ships so again it you haven't had a look at it I would definitely look at it if you have already got a starter ship and you've got in-game UEC it only costs about 1.4 million a UEC which is pretty cheap you can rent it in game as well which again is quite cheap it's not on the expensive side when you first get this it will have um size 3 nibbled mounts on it as well so that's not like really bad but it's you know you could probably do a little bit better and the, they are cf227 um badger repeaters and then you have scorpion gt 215s which are ballistic weapons which do primarily uh damage to the shields where the lasers don't really sort of concentrate too much on the shields they do push through them but again ballistic sort of punch through them and then knock them out of the way and then the laser repeaters will come in and damage the hull but again 
all around this is a great ship and this is a little bit of a missile boat for the size of the ship that it is if you want some good sized missiles and you want to be able to do a fair bit of damage and probably you know not really missile spam but at the same time missile spam this is probably one of the better ships to have and it will keep you protected. It is quite fast as well. I think it gets up to like 1114 MS, which again, that is a great speed. But when you are combat fighting, you want to keep it at that SEM so that you can just sort of control the ship while you're combat uh, fighting, which is, you know, if you want to keep it at a, like a good speed, I think about 165 MS for this ship is a good sort of medium. That's where they sort of recommend it to sit. But again, it can always go a little bit quicker. You just got to be a little bit more cautious of what you're doing and be a little bit more responsive with the controls on the ship because going a little bit quicker means it's going to be a little bit more sluggish and you're not going to be able to keep up with your opponent as much. But it depends on how your opponent's flying. But at the end of the day, this is a great ship. I would definitely consider getting one if I was a beginner. Uh, it's also got tractor beams on it once they have sort of been implemented into the game, which assist in recovery missions and getting sort of cargo onto the ship as well. So always think about that. They're like the future gameplay roles for this ship and the current gameplay roles. It's always going to get better from here. So if you want one, get one. It's always worth it at the end. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the verse.